All right, hey, how's it going, everybody? Uh, I think this is week four, maybe five. I'm already losing count. Weekend tips and tricks with Scott Grove. So what am I doing this weekend? Uh, I am been preparing for next weekend's live Veneer Me Crazy uh, class, and that's going to be really good. If you don't know what uh, that's about, we'll be teaching radial matches. So these are a variety of radial matches, and... Um, yeah, it's kind of not easy to do it. You got to know the sort of the secret formula. And for what it's worth, I think I do it better than anybody else. <laughs> and the reason being is I have a different method of sequencing, which is uh, different from pretty much what most people do. And why is mine better is because my sequencing creates a perfectly centered pattern. So I don't know if you can see that there. This distance is uh, perfect. In addition to all my um, dominant seams line up. Now, granted, that's not symmetrical there. See, that's not a mirror because these veneer, the grain changes as you go around. But I've come up with a sort of method or system where I make these line up and make everything sort of overall look very symmetrical. So you can see the variety of patterns there. So if you want to learn about that um check it out next weekend go to imagine grove and there'll be a, a link for my courses and what else i've been working on so i've been working on uh, let's go this way here okay uh this uh cabinet this is a bedroom set that i've been working on here and the drawers are installed uh this gets veneered with pomely sapili and uh chagrin Chagrin is a stingray skin. It's very much like leather. So that's going to be really fun. In addition to, let me get over here, the um, poles. I finally finished all the poles. They're the custom poles. And the inside here also gets uh, veneered after they get stained dark. So this is Pomely Sapili. I did a three ply layup. Hey, how's it going? uh hope this week goes better yeah you never know what's going to happen with these live things so this inlay goes inside this pole here so that should be really fun in addition the chagrin leather will go in there also but these get stained really dark so i'm going to stain and finish these first then finish these natural and that will look um really cool so that's what else is going on here i also had a cnc a little sort of HDPE press so I can press those down to get even pressure. So that's what that's about. And what else is going on? So, oh, tips and tricks. So during my uh, radial veneer class, now I've got some really nice uh, cutting edges, okay? So cutting edges, I have these aluminum bars that I use, they're machined and milled and whatnot, but not everybody has that. So. If you're trying to look for a straight edge that you can use for cutting, uh, what I do for my students, and this works really well, is just take a piece of MDF and run on a joiner so you're sure it has a nice straight edge and put C CA glue, thin CA glue on this surface. That will soak into that those fibers and it makes it really hard. I then take another piece of, of wood and I will sort of sand that and now I have a hardened or tempered edge I put sandpaper on it, and when I'm cutting my veneer, let's go back to this camera, come on. So if I'm cutting veneer, this goes down there, and it's a nice, nice straight edge, and your knife will uh, run against it. So there's no need to get... Um, um, Lewis, so I didn't see that message, Lewis, and I'm still figuring out. Let me see if I can do this. Top chat massages. Oh, there we go. No, learn more. Oh, reconnected. I'm trying to figure out how I can view your messages, guys. So hang in there. Let's see. I see six people. Yeah, I don't know how to... I thought they, the messages pop up and then they go away. But we'll figure it out. This whole live thing is relatively new for me. But I'm going to do it every weekend. And hopefully by the end of the year, I'll have this figured out. My COVID hair is doing really well. We're going to uh, get that cut uh, this weekend. Actually, we're going to do that today, I think. Uh, anyway, back to my tips and tricks. So if you're looking for a straight edge, uh, this works really great for large, long runs. And if you don't have a large aluminum bar or something, 
Just make these straight edges and temper it with, or you know, seal it with some CA glue. I use this method for uh, template guides also for routering, so the bearing runs on a little harder surface. So that's uh, that's that. And I don't know if they got anything else going on this week or not. I'm pretty much wrapping up a bunch of deliveries, and we we've got a really nice. Um, a restoration job. I want to show you that. That's a really cool one. This is a project that I'm working on. Let's go outside here. You're going to love this. So, this is off of a monastery that I've been working on. So, that's what these are. These are copper finials that go on top of a monastery. That's a small one. And these are the big ones. Oh. So you can see that. Let's uh, move this down here. So that's a copper finial, and I've got to take a mold off of that and make a new one of those. So it's going to be a really fun mold project. In addition to the casting has to be, have a copper lining on it. So um, we, we mix bronze powder into our resin and, and uh, cast it that way. Uh, so then when you sandblast it, it, it burnishes sort of the surface, makes it shiny, and then it will take a patina. So look for that. That's coming up probably in the next few weeks. We'll be doing that. And that might be a rotational mold also. That's really fun. So that's what I got going on uh, for the week. And I'll make this short and sweet. So please uh, check out my channel. I'm, uh, for what it's worth, trying to build the whole channel and all that business. Woo, let's get back in here. It's cold out today. So I'm trying to build my channel. I appreciate you liking and subscribing and, and, and all that business. Um, see if we get more subscribers. Woo, it's all about the subscribers, right? So that's it. Everybody wear your mask. Stay safe. And um, boy, the bills. The bills didn't make it. I'm not sure I'm conflicted between Kansas City and, and, and the Bucs. I don't know. Maybe we, if our team doesn't win, should we storm the stadium and insist the other side won? It's a bad political joke. But anyhow, thanks for watching. Stay safe, everybody. We'll see you next weekend. Okay, bye-bye.